Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name's Lauren. January is pretty much over now, however this is the first video of the year for me so I still think I can say Happy New Year. This month has been a busy one for me with uni so I haven't had time to make any videos. However this week has been my one year YouTube anniversary so to celebrate I decided to make myself a tote bag with some leftover fabric from previous projects. This is a really quick and beginner friendly project that took me about 30 minutes to do, so let's get to it. I picked out two fabrics that I thought the patterns could work quite well together, one being a black and white pineapple print and the other a red, ready pinkish floral uh, print from the scraps left over from my quarter circle skirt video. I cut two rectangles of each fabric. I wanted my bag to be 35 centimeters by 40 centimeters, so I cut a few centimeters wider to allow for seam allowance. I put the two matching fabrics right sides together and sewed a U shape, leaving one of the sides open. I decided to have these straps cut out of the pineapple print and I wanted them to be 3.5 cm wide and 65 cm long so I doubled the width measurement as it would be folded in half so it would be double sided with the print and then added seam allowance all the way round. I folded the length of the straps in half right sides together and then sewed along the long straight edge and use a safety pin to turn the whole thing inside out. An optional step that I like to do is to top stitch the edge of the two handles which helps make the fabric lie flat. So I just press the fabric down and pin it in place and then sew two super long lines down each edge of the fabric strap. I attached the straps onto the right sides of the bag and equally measured from the distance of the seam on the side of the bag to where I wanted my straps to be placed and did this so they were equal distance on both sides. I then flipped the bag and used the placement of the first straps to mirror the placement of the second straps. If you didn't want a lining in your bag you could just sew the straps down here and hem the top of your bag and you'd be done. However, I decided to add a base to the bottom of my tote bag. So starting with the lining, I took one of the bottom corners and placed the two seams over the top of each other and pinned this down to create a triangle in the opposite direction. I took a measuring tape and marked out five centimeters up each side and then drew a line to join the two markings together. And that would be where I would sew. I pinned this in place and then repeated on the other corner of my lining and the two bottom corners of the outer part of my bag. I then sewed these four corners in place and cut off the extra bit of fabric so that they would lie a little bit more, a little better on the inside of the bag. I pretty much took the lining of the bag and placed the outer of the bag inside making sure they were right sides together and the handles were in between the outer and the lining. I made sure the two side seams were lined up and started to pin along the top of the bag. I then sewed all the way round the bag making sure to sew over the four handle joinings and also made sure to leave a small gap between two of the handles so I'd be able to turn the bag. Before turning inside out I trimmed off any extra fabric that there was at the top and then began turning through the open gap. Again to help everything lie in, flat in place and to close the hole I top stitch around the top of the bag making sure to sew over the end of the lining and also to seal the hole that we'd left to help turn it inside out and then with that I was pretty much done.
I'm really pleased with how this bag has turned out. It's actually become my everyday bag for uni. If you have two fabrics that work really well together, then this tote bag would actually be reversible as well with the way that it's been made with the lining. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to keep liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you again in the next video. I won't wait as long as I did for this one. Bye.